2020 I have no friends period I just don't and I realized the reason why I don't have friends it's not because of me it's because that the friends that I, I I claim to be my friends they're unreliable I can't depend on them you know let's say for example if I got stranded on a on a street right in, in the middle of nowhere ran out of gas or something like that I couldn't call any of these people and that's my friend to come and pick me up or to cash at me none of them. period and the first thing in friendship is to be able to depend on one another I should be able to pick up the phone to talk to my friend in my time of need and that's not the case and it's funny because I call them my associates my associates not my friends it's funny that <laughs> they all differ like I could talk about talk to one associate about working out I could talk to the other associate about music I could talk to the other associate about money but it's never the total package so therefore what I'm trying to say is that I can't even be me with talking to these associates and I hate to bring up the 90s but yes I lived it and that's all I know, really. And it's crazy because, like, at the end of the day, once I'm six feet under, I'm, yo, once it's time for me to go, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to be willing to go because our standards, um, our principles and morals when dealing with friendship is flawed in 2020. But in the 90s, it was like, yo, if I was getting jumped and I called my friend up, or friends plural They'll be like Yo we'll be over there In five minutes I remember I did I did get jumped In the projects And I I, I jumped in the car Drove to One of my friends house And And, and the dude was like Yo where they at And I ain't, You know You know They got some tools You know If you understand Where I'm coming from And I had to stop them From doing that I had to stop them From, from, from going in the projects And And lit, Lighting it up I was like, yo, it ain't worth it like that, you know. Plus, I didn't even get it really, really like injured like that. Like three dudes jumped me. I really didn't even get beat up like that. I was trying to handle it like fists. They were trying to handle it another way. And this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You you can rely on a friend. You can depend on a friend, a friend. I can't depend on anybody. And it's so frustrating in 2020. When you call somebody that you consider as being a friend and they don't pick up their phone or it'll ring and then the third after the third ring it'll go straight to voicemail. So basically they hung up on you. Or you call and they hang up on you and then they text you and be like, yo, what's up? I don't want to, I don't want you to text me. I want to talk to you physically. I want to physically talk to you. I don't want you to text me nothing. I'm not worth a phone call or, or, or a Facebook message. Really? I'm not worth a phone call. That's crazy to me. And this is the reason why I don't have friends. Because the definition of friendship in, in 2020 is fake. It's just a title. Nobody abides by the rules and regulations. And the rules, of, one of the rules and regulations is to be able to depend on your friend. You see, I'm a Taurus, and under the sign of of a Taurus is one of them being loyalty. I'm real big on loyalty. If I'm your friend, I'm gonna be forever. I'm gonna forever be loyal to you. Period. So if you call me three o'clock in the morning talking about yo, my girl is kicking me out, I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna pick you up and I'm gonna be like yo, sleep on the couch, man. Do what you got to do. This is how we used to handle things back in the days. I remember, I never forget it. I had a dude, a, a friend, like, yo, we, we met each other. It was like three days we was kicking it. And guess what? A situation happened and I had to go and I wound up going over his house, living with him. 
And then some shit happened with him. And he wound up leaving T-Neck, New Jersey, and coming down to, at the time I was living in Greensboro, North Carolina, he moved in with me. Didn't pay any rent. My girl cooked his plate, fixed his food first. This is what we used to do in the 90s. This is how we used to treat one another when we called one another a friend. And this is the problem that I'm having in 2020 because I can't relate. I'm this prehistoric dinosaur that should have been gone a long time ago. Now I realize and I understand why uh, uh, Big Mama, our grandmothers and our great grandmothers and our grandfathers and our great grandfathers are ready to die. Because they've seen, they've seen their world change. And it's not like this, it's not like it, it used to be. And I'm seeing that as I get older. I'm seeing that friendship no longer exists. Period. It's only I, I'm your you're my associate. That's it. You know, we briefly talk and we briefly have conversations. You know, we laugh and, and joke and then that's it. Let me tell you something, you know, you you younger people, I guess what you call them, Generation Z and then and then the millennials, you know. Um Well, the millennials are experiencing that now. You know what I'm saying? So I'll say Generation Z. The friends that you have in high school, they're not gonna be your friend once you become an adult. The friends that you have in college, you're gonna have you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have some friends that stick around, but most of the friends are gonna fall off. I've had so many friends throughout my years. So many. And they, and friends in this damn time come and go. They come and go. And I've had friends that have came and have actually hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. Because I've known this man for so many years. And we went through the, the ups and downs. He lived with me, I lived with him. We joked, we laughed. We cracked open a beer. Only to 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 to, to separate and, and not really be friends anymore. Like I can't even call this dude. Period. And he's changed. And that's what friends, certain friends do. I mean, this guy, when I met him, he's Brooklyn all day. Pink houses. I know his deepest and darkest secrets. And he knows mine. I know what you've done in, in, in the pink houses. But I would never open my mouth about that. Ever. Ever. No matter what. But for you to change and, and, and you know, get in the corporate world and now you, I don't know what the hell, you a sellout. And you admit it. And now it's all about being bad and bougie. I'm here to tell you something, boys and girls, young men and young women. If you have a friend and you can't depend on that friend, then you don't have one. Yeah, sometimes it is lonely. But guess what? When I know that I have any friends, when I found out, Guess what? I knew I had my own back. So I became my best friend. And if you ever see me in Charlotte talking to myself, don't think I'm crazy. I just fell in love with the friend that I never knew I had. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One.